Hi, this is my Edmonton and Shura Park real estate market update for this month. Stay tuned to find out where sales were up 26% from last month and which area is a balanced market with an even higher chance of selling than last month. So let's dive in. Welcome to my Edmonton and Sherwood Park residential real estate market update for period ending May 31st, 2019. I'm Jen McPhillamy, Realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. Go on, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss these or the other fun videos that we do. So anyway, interesting times in the residential real estate market here in our area. But for many of you sellers, I am sure that you're still feeling like it's a strong buyer's market. It doesn't super surprise me since the average residential sale prices for all sales in the area is down from last year. But don't fret, things are changing. And buyers, take special note, this is so important for you fence sitters out there. So for single family detached homes in Edmonton, sales are up. There are 4,024 homes for sale. This is up 9.26% month over month. So the increase in homes for sale was outpaced by the number of homes sold this last month. In May, there were 779 single family detached homes sold in Edmonton. That's an increase of 26.05% from April, 2019. That's huge. So your chance of selling a single family detached home in Edmonton is up 2.58% to 19.36% as we continue to inch towards a balanced market. So in case you didn't know, we're considered to be a balanced market when your chance of selling is between 30% and 50%. Some more good news for sellers, the average days on market is also down for single family detached homes. The average days on market is 54 days. This is down by 5.26% month over month. Okay, so now let's look at Shura Park. So single family detached homes in Shura Park. There are 292 homes for sale. This was down 4.89% month over month and even down in the year over year by 3.63%. So the amount of single family detached homes that sold in Sherwood Park last month was 102. This is basically flat month over month. But what's interesting, your chance of selling a single family detached home in Sherwood Park is up again this month. It increased by 4.12% to 34.93% chance of selling. This is the second consecutive month single family detached homes in Sherwood Park chance of selling has increased. And if you remember, as I mentioned above, a balanced market is between 30 to 50% chance of selling. So Sherwood Park, there you have it. You're in a balanced market. The average days on market to sell a home in Sherwood Park is still flat at exactly 44 days. So what's this mean to you? If you're selling in Edmonton, the average price for your home is still down and Insure Park is pretty flat. So that means you still need to be competitive with your pricing. If you are competitive with your pricing though, I think you'll be happy with the results. Especially if your home is at that sweet spot between $300,000 and $500,000. So this is why I don't think it's that bad for sellers, especially if you're going to be competitive with your pricing. Number one. Inventory is down, and usually by this time we start to see a climb for the summer inventory. Number two, demand is starting to appear to go up month over month. Number three, so important, interest rates are drastically down. And number four, I was reading the Edmonton Economic Report that was just released, and it's saying that full-time jobs have increased and part-time jobs have decreased. Okay, so buyers, if you're sitting on the fence and waiting to buy, waiting for that perfect moment, well, I believe this is it. Honestly, it couldn't be a better time to get off the fence, but the prices haven't necessarily increased yet. Sellers have still dropped their prices to make sure their homes are selling. So why not buy now while they're low? Supply is going down, demand is going up, and when demand goes up and supply goes down, prices start to go up. So we appear to be climbing out of the bottom. And how about those interest rates? 
they're so low right now. I remember just a few months ago, people were looking at like 3.5% and I'm hearing you can get them as low as 2.7% at some lenders right now. Maybe even lower. Got to check it out. Who knows how long the low interest rates are going to last. So buyers, get off that fence, get in to see your mortgage broker or your mortgage specialist at your bank and get pre-approved and lock in those low rates. So as always, for you stat junkies, I've included links below where you can download more information. I really hope you found this information to be valuable. If you have any questions, just reach out to me. I love talking about stats. And remember, every one of my clients has a unique personal financial circumstance. I'm always available to meet you, to customize a strategy to get you where you need to be. Anyway, that about sums it up. Thanks for watching. Bye.